I'm Jenny Hamill here at the SNW conference in Orlando, Florida, and joining me now is an author, speaker, and partner at a venture capital form firm, Jeffrey Moore. You were the second speaker tonight to kind of kick off the conference. So first, I wanted to thank you for joining me. A pleasure to be here in Orlando, and a pleasure to be with SNW. Yeah, it come, came all the way out from uh, California, a little bit more sultry out here in Florida. It is, a little more humidity. All right, so um, you had an opportunity to speak before uh, people in this industry, and, and what did you use your minutes on stage to kind of in part. We talked about the future of enterprise IT as a transition from systems of record, which are the great database systems we invested in in the 20th century, to systems of engagement, which look a lot more like the consumer IT that we have on the weekend, but we're still trying to get inside the enterprise during the week. And, and how does that transition happen? Are there any trends that you, you spoke about? Well, the, the, unfortunately, the, the initial trend is it's not happening anywhere near as fast as anybody wants. Okay because there's a lot of complications to bringing consumer technologies into the enterprise. And so we talked a lot about where could you accelerate it and why would you pick one area before another. So we talked about a concept called moments of engagement, which are the critical strategic moments where your strategy either wins or loses. And see if you can't get the technology involved there because that would really change the performance of your company. And do you think that would actually uh, be of benefit to these uh, people listening to you tonight? Yeah, very much. I, th I, think, I think the ideas resonate with the audience. I don't think I was telling the audience something they didn't know, but I think what the industry has felt is it's not as actionable yet as we want it to be. Right. We're so good at doing the systems of record actions. We've been doing them for decades. This is newer. There's, there's legal issues. There's privacy issues. There's, there's lots of, and there's technical issues as well. And so I think people feel a little bit like, my gosh, it's such a big hill to climb. Where do we start? So not just storage anymore, but there's kind of more intuitive involvement going on. Oh, here. yeah. In fact, all of the traditional terms, storage, computer, right. data center, network, right. they're, all, they're all mixed together in this world that we, we call cloud because we don't have a better word for it. But it's definitely a highly distributed world. And so the way in which things play out is, is, is very novel. Okay, and, and and you said you felt that uh, this subject does resonate with the people listening. I mean, did you feel an energy amongst your uh, audience? Oh, oh you, you bet, you bet. Oh. We did Q&A, but we had to finally call it off because, because everybody experiences, everybody has this experience on the weekend themselves. They know how powerful they are when they use Yelp or Google sure. or OpenTable or Expedia or whatever. Sure. And then they come into their company during the week and they go, I, none of the above, right? right? And so, and, and, and they're obviously under pressure to get that. I think the other thing that might have caught their attention is, I told them that their line of business colleagues are going to take money out of traditional IT budgets continuing going forward, but they would love to give it back to them if they could figure out a way to spend it on this new stuff. So you kind of dangled the carrot. I did. Dang, I did dangle the carrot a bit. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, <laughs> an effective speaker then. So I know you're a renowned author, and you just released a, a new book that's uh, doing quite well, Escape yes. Velocity. Did you talk about uh, any of the content of your book not, tonight? Not at tonight. I did at lunch. So Escape Velocity. The, the subtitle is called Free Your Company's Future from the Pole of the Past. Okay. So it, it relates a little bit to what we're trying to do tonight. Sure. But the key idea, what my first book was about was called Crossing the Chasm, and it was about how could new technologies break into a market that was being guarded by the incumbents. Sure. The last, this last book is the opposite problem. How does an established company in an existing market break out of that market and right. get into new businesses? And it turns out that's as big a challenge. Sure. And, and, and so uh, we've talked about it uh, 10 years ago, I think Clay Christensen's phrase for it was the innovator's dilemma. And I think, I think one of the things we've learned in the last 10 years is it's probably not an innovation problem, but it is a management problem. And so the book talks about how we could solve for that problem. So, so helping uh, these companies that maybe are not necessarily stuck in their ways, but good at doing one thing and, and making some sort of transformative move. Yeah, I mean, and, and part of it is, you know, you're a Microsoft, you're an HP, you're an Oracle, you're a Cisco. These are the great companies of our industry. These right. are not bad companies. Right. But, but the, the way the, the, the system works is the bigger you are, the more you have to lose by taking a risk and the less you have to gain, in the short term in particular. Right. And given that they're all public companies and given that they're shareholder commitments, et cetera, et cetera, you can see how it, it, things can sort of self-organize to prevent you from ever breaking out. And yet when you see a breakout performance, the way Apple did, for example, the way IBM did in the 90s, you think, wow, why don't we do more of this? Right. And, and so the question of the book is, well, how could you systematically approach that problem as opposed to just praying for a leader? Right. So then with that said, 
it sounds like you think that there, there is a need for change right now within the IT world, and you're talking about even things like storage and computers seeming like archaic terms. It must, though, then lend itself to being a very exciting time well, for the is. opportunity it for is. growth. And it's not just the IT world, because one of the things is, we've bec I mean, business and consumer life have both recentered themselves inside IT. Right. So, so Facebook is inside IT. Google is inside IT. Our business systems are inside IT. So it's not just that IT is like something you might bolt on to the enterprise. Mm -hmm. It is the enterprise. And so we're the crucible in which these changes are going to happen. So it's a much bigger agenda, I think, than it, we might have fought 10 or 15 years ago. So then, uh, speaking tonight at the conference, rewarding for you? Oh, very much. Of course, it, it always is. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. This is an industry that I'm in love with. Okay, well, I appreciate your time. Thanks, well, thanks for joining Jenny. me, and appreciate best of luck with everything. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Thanks.